Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be creating ourselves a dog army that you see behind us, and also fighting the Ender Dragon. I hope you guys are ready. So, guys, today, like I said last episode, we're going to actually get ourselves, before we go to the end and do anything like that, we're going to get ourselves a wolf army. And I mean a wolf army. We need to find some wolves in the wild. And the good part about finding wolves is, I mean, you can tame them anywhere and they will follow you back home. They'll just teleport to you. So there's like no need to like watch them or, or do anything like that. They'll just actually work. So that's what we're going to we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go on the lookout and we do have our pants on. We do have our glider. So let's go ahead and take off. And uh, we're going to find some wolves in the wild. And I have some bone on me and we're going to tame those guys. So I'll see you whenever we find some. Perfect, I spotted some wolves. So, I mean, it actually wasn't too far away. We just had to kind of roam around until we seen some that spawned. Let's go ahead and bone. Oh, that was perfect, right on the first try. Nice, so we should be able to make sure this guy's standing. I did hear another one, so we have to go over here and find this one. And, oh, there's two of them. Hi, hi buddy, come here. Thank you. And all of you guys are now here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and pick you guys back up. So now we have three dogs. That's good. We can, we should be able to breed these guys. So having three of them, that will uh, not take very long. Let's go ahead, head back. These guys should teleport with me. If I see any more dogs on the way back, then uh, I'll definitely grab those because that'll make breeding them faster so we can have a huge dog army. I think dogs are just so underrated, but like they can be very, very, very useful in, in battles. Um, I don't know how useful they're going to be in the end, but uh, having them in the overworld would definitely make them very useful. We'll never have to worry about dying accidentally to some mob. Even if we're AFKing, these guys will do a very good job of protecting us. So, like I said, I'll meet you guys when I get back. Look at this squid just kind of having fun over there. Yeah, I'll meet you guys when we get back. All right, so the puppies are safe at home. Everything is looking good. Let's armor these guys up. So, what armor do we have? Well, we have horse armor, three diamond armor for our horse, or for our dogs. So let's throw some diamond armor on this guy. Look at that. He is ready to go. Uh, we have two more. We'll throw that on you. It's a shift click to get into their inventory. Man, these guys are rocking and rolling. Like, they're ready to go. Let's see. Um, now, Rotten Flesh, I do believe, is a, a means of actually breeding these guys together. Yeah. So, that will get us a puppy. Look at the little puppy. I don't know if we can put armor on a puppy. No, we can't. Nice, but they are all safe. And let's actually... Oh, I didn't mean to hit you, puppy. I'm sorry. Let's pick you up. You two. You guys follow me. We're going to go upstairs. We are going to go upstairs, and I hope they follow me all up there. Or teleport to me, whatever they want to do. This is going to be their little area. Come here, guys. All right, you're all here. Okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll make sure you guys all sit down. Where's our little puppy? Where's our puppy? I think our puppy disappeared. That's not good. There you are. Come on, little fella. I need a bone. Come on. Come on, you, you're so stubborn. Come on. Big. He's really big-headed. Oh, I think he probably stuck on that block. There we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. They're just as stubborn and... Oh, yeah. He has no idea what he's doing. Okay. Yeah, no idea. Anyways, we may have to just breed these guys while they're up here. Just to keep them in line. This guy's a little bit different color than the rest. Which you did notice. Um, let's say... Uh, armor. I mean, also getting a horse would be great. I mean, we have diamond armor for our horse as well. And that's something that we just haven't haven't gotten yet. 
All right, you can set down. There we go. As long as he stays set down. But yeah, we have all of our little dogs ready to go. You can stand up. I'm gonna get you off the edge there. Come on. Perfect. And yeah, I can just kind of push you guys. I can't really pick them up too much, but I can I can scoot them around. <laughs> just gonna push them around. And that works. So there's our guard dogs. Yeah, we have some guard dogs. We're gonna have a lot more dogs by the end of this episode. I can almost guarantee that. Um, but getting a horse. Let's actually go on a search for a horse. Um, now, a horse is going to need a saddle. I think we can make saddles. Yeah, we just need this. So, need leather. And this needs to be chopped down and then chopped down again. And that should get us a saddle. All right, there's a saddle. Perfect. And then we can get our armor for our ride back. You know, you never know. You never know. We may have a rough ride back and we may need the armor. All right, so I'm going to go find a horse. And uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys when we get there. All right, so here is a good little bundle of horses. So let's go ahead and uh, just kind of fall down slowly. And uh, we'll figure out which horse might be the best. By kind of just taking a look at its health, it's really the best way, in my opinion. The more health, the better off I think the horse is going to be. This is kind of a weak one. That's a really nice horse that looking there. I, I like that color. Little baby. That's a really good looking horse as well. Uh, I really like the way the mane looks with that. Another, another nice horse. Got a bit of health. This one seems to have the most health, though. So, yeah, we got to try and tame this guy. We're going to try. It might take a little while. It's going to buck us off a few. All right. You're going to kick us off. There we go. All right. You're going to break eventually. I will break you. I will do it. All right. And then we can saddle you up and armor you up and ride you back home. Because we're actually not that far away from the base. Come on. Come on. You're going to like it eventually. Come on now. It's actually our first attempt at, uh, at getting a horse, getting a horse to work. Oh, there it goes. Now he's used to it. We've broken the horse. So let's saddle it up, armor it up. That is one pretty horse right there. Wow. Okay. So this thing has pretty good speed. How's this jump? It's got an okay jump height. It may be, it may be just like one and a half blocks, maybe two blocks, something like that. It's not the greatest, but we can now travel super fast and at pretty long distances and not have to worry about too much. Uh, can we make this water? Yeah. Look at that. It's not really good. Yeah, I can jump two blocks, two blocks high. Really nice. Um, and we're actually not that far away. Our base is right over here, so you can kind of see it on the map. Um, our base is right here. We just have to go across the river here, which it's probably going to be best that we take a little short route here. Because the problem with horses, they don't particularly like water. Yeah, they don't like water. <laughs> Let's push him to shore. Come on. You got it. <laughs> nope. I don't. I guess he started to take water, uh, water damage. Okay. Yeah, if we hit this just right, we can jump those massive gaps. Nice. Oh man, traversing like sandy areas would be so much easier now that we have this horse because we can go so much faster. Yeah, and our, our base is actually over here. We're on the back side of it. So nice. Um, uh, once we get back, we're going to start focusing a little bit more on breeding up our, uh, our, our dogs, getting our dogs nice and going. I might want to grab another horse. I don't know. I think having one is plenty. When you start getting more, uh, it just, yeah, we only need really one. I don't think you can breed horses. If you, if you can, it's with golden apples, I think, but I don't, re I don't remember. I think that maybe they breed on their own. I have no idea. But anyways, I'm going to head back. I wonder if these dungeon tactics plants affect you. I don't know. We're going to have an issue getting back. Oh no. Get away from the zombie. 
All right, we're getting out of here. So as we can get through these trees. And yeah, I'll see you when we get back to the base. So now that we're back at the base, I think we need to make a lead. Or we actually have leads. I totally forgot we had leads. And yeah, let's go ahead and lead this guy up. Your steed will wait for you. Wait, what? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He straight up just disappeared. <laughs> what? Our horse just disappeared. No! Said something about our steed will wait for us, and then it just disappeared. What? What? Okay. That's... <laughs> That's probably an issue. That I might need to I might need to, to figure out what the issue is there. Wow. Okay. I can't remember exactly what mod that was where your horse automatically uh, just stops and waits for you. But it, he might actually show back up eventually. I don't know. I don't know exactly what caused that. So strange. I was actually gonna hook a lead up to the the horse. I hear him. Oh, I hear the horse. He's stuck somewhere, I bet. Or he's on the roof. Did the horse literally go to the roof? Oh my. I wonder. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. And that is to go to the roof. I heard the horse. This will be super funny if that's the case. No. Weird. Weird. I don't know. All right, so our pup just grew into a big boy. Let's go ahead and throw some gold armor on him. Oh, I really like the gold armor. It's like sort of, I mean, it's just mainly aesthetic because, well, I don't know. That does give him quite a bit of armor. Uh, half, I mean, there's six armor points there. And I did notice that if I have some more rotten flesh, which I, I mean, I do, uh, we can, of course, speed up the timer on this. And we can make him an adult a lot faster. And a, I mean, a lot faster. And so, like, this guy and this guy, we can now make another puppy. So, yeah, we're about to have some major puppies going on here. It's going to be crazy. The amount of puppies we are going to have. <laughs> the amount of dogs we're going to have. I do want to use up all this armor, though. I just wish my horse didn't disappear. That's super sad. Poor thing. It's It's got to be here. It just dropped dung, unless that's coming from the dogs. There is a horse somewhere. Here. I haven't heard it since I heard it earlier, so... I almost feel like... Yeah, I hear it. It's here somewhere. It's so weird, but it's invisible. So, unfortunately, I don't know what happened. But yeah, that's a thing. That's totally a thing. No, oh, it's, it's too bad. Too bad. Anyways, let's go ahead. We're going to have to fight the dragon today. I know. That's going to be something we're going to do. We're going to go to the end. We have all the stuff to be able to do it. But uh, the one thing I do need is some more experience. We might have a little bit to be able to do a few things. Um, but, but I'm gonna have to set up my mob farm for a little bit and kind of grind out some more experience. It doesn't really take that long. But, uh, I do have all of these, um, different enchants that I pulled from my enchantment book area. Uh, and I was kind of looking through them. Uh, we do have punch. I might actually want punch on there. Punch and power. Um, but there's a few enchants that I might want to try out. Uh, I do know that our armor is getting pretty low. Um, especially our chest piece. But, uh, there's gills, which would help us in water, which we don't need too much of, but I don't know how expensive it would be to add something else to maybe one of our, our items. Maybe our pants or something, uh, to add stone skin or something like that too. Uh, but I do want to go ahead and, and combine these power books to get power two. And maybe we can do, I don't know how high power can go. Uh, power three. I think maybe the the highest it can actually go. 
And we're going to take our bow, because we do have a compound bow. We have this really nice bow here that already has power 3 on it. Um, but we can maybe also add punch. Yeah, we'll add punch. It'll be 2 experience for that. Uh, I, I don't know if strength can be added to this bow. It says anything. I guess it's not in, it doesn't mean weapons. It says enchantment strength. It's from uh, the dungeon thing. Okay. And we'd also take a look. We have some more enchants in here. Well, this one has fortune on it. So enchants and let's get a book. I don't know if we can actually rip enchants off of a right, you know, a regular book. I don't think we can. I don't think we can. I'm afraid if I put this... Okay, so if I put this on a tool, it's going to automatically select Fortune 3. So we do have a Fortune 3 book. That is like a must-have there. Um, so on our bow, we really have... You know, multi-shot, I think, is the only other thing that we could possibly get on this. Uh, let's take a look at... Not Dungeon Tactics. What are these? These are from Quark, right? Feather Falling Fire Aspect and Punch 2. Punch 2. Speed Boost also would be nice if we have enough experience. We have six levels. Do we put those on the boots or leggings? The Speed Boost. I almost want to bet it's leggings. No, maybe it just can't apply with whatever's on there. Um, punch two. We can't do it because it already has punch one. Oh man, I was gonna. I was really hoping to get that. And then I don't think we can add any more power to this thing, right? Power three? No. It's not gonna help us any there. The only thing we can do is change the name of this thing. But the, uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, so I honestly think we're good. We have arrows. We have a few arrows. Plus, I mean, we have a bunch of arrows in our, our container. But yeah, look at our dog army, guys. Oh, we also have... I forgot. We, uh... Armor? Let's go ahead and throw... We've got chain wolf armor. 12... This does 12 armor. This does 15 armor. We're gonna throw this on here. On this dog. And there we go. Look at that. Nice. So yeah, we really do have a dog army. This is no joke. A straight up dog army. And we'll put the chain on this guy and see what it looks like. Very cool. Very cool. All armored up. These guys are crazy. And if we had any mobs to go after, that would, yeah, they would wreck them. For sure. Um, Alright, let's go ahead. I mean, we have this. Let's go get some more arrows. Um, our armor, I think, is going to be perfectly fine for going after the dragon. Uh, we're going to use these rocket pants, I think, for our progression through that. Uh, we do have a pick. Let's see. Let's take our diamond pick, just in case we need to mine through some obsidian. And... Alright, maybe some... So we don't really have any jump protection other than the hang glider. But I, honestly, I think we can beat the guy, beat him, with the composite bow, hang glider, and our, our sharpness sword. I really do. Um, I really think we can do this. And I don't think we're going to have any issues either. Uh, we are going to need a shield. And I think that's it. Ender. There's really not much here that we are going to need other than ender pearls. And the ender pearls are only going to be useful whenever we travel through the end, which we don't really have to do that, but that will be something that we'll, we'll get to eventually. And traveling through the end is going to be really easy with the glider and stuff. So let's go ahead and get onto that. We're going to make it over there after I grab some arrows. And uh, I'll be right back, guys, and uh, we're going to get the end on. So, guys, at this point, we have a plethora of bags of goodies to go through for our mob farm. And we might as well get those done while we're down here. And then also, I want to tell you, I want to show you what these jars of hearts are going to be very useful. So we're going to take those. We also have some jars of hearts in here. 
And like I said, they stack in stacks of 10. And when you right click with them, they're instant health potions. So that's going to be like a definite yes uh, for taking with us. Now, let's get started. First of all, with our potion bag. And I think, doesn't it throw them on the ground if we have too many? So potion of speed, potion of strength, invisibility, which would be really nice and useful for what we're about to do. We don't really need insta health, but jump potions would definitely probably be useful. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and keep the uh, strength potion on us. I'm going to keep the invisibility potion. Let's get rid of some of the other stuff that we have on us that we're not going to really need. Uh, for right now, anyways. Um, okay, and then let's go ahead do the ore bag. Not too much there. What do we have here? A book bag and a few other ones. Alright, so they gave us some enchants. That's Silk Touch. And we got Rage. Alright, so that's awesome. Like, especially the Silk Touch is really nice. I'm gonna put that on a pick. Once we get a pick going. We got a food bag, we got a fish. We got two music discs. Tool bag, what can we get out of this? We only have three slots available. Alright, so we got a Gilded Shovel, which is not bad at all. But the problem is the durability on these things are just not great, man. Not great at all. Let's get all this junk out of here. Boost, invisibility, I want to keep. Okay. And one last tool bag. A lead. Alright, nice. I'm honestly not going to complain about a lead. So, uh, gunpowder. We'll take a stack with us. That's all we're really going to need. Um, we don't need flint and steel. That must have been the other tool we got. We have a few ender pearls on us. That is just to open the portal. We're going to need some cobble. Possibly. For pillaring up. And that's probably it. Guys, I think we have just about everything we're going to need to fight this guy. Um, food. That's the only other thing. Food is going to be the other issue. Um, what do we have? What do we have that's cooked? That's good. We have pork chops. We don't really have that much in regards of good saturation. Steak is normally the best thing. You know what? We have mystery meat. We can cook up some mystery meat, and I think that would be fine. Yeah, let's cook up some mystery meat. I don't actually know what, the, what this gives you. I mean, considering it is mystery meat. Um, I guess that's fine. Mystery meat looks good to me. It's going to give us some good saturation and the stuff that we're going to actually need. Guys, I don't want to take you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think you guys will cause more problems than good with Enderman. I don't want Enderman attacking me. That'll be the worst nightmare. My worst nightmare will be Enderman coming after me. So, we have stuff we're going to need. Um, the only other thing I can think of is possibly a pumpkin. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, but a pumpkin, if we had one, would be a great thing right now. Even though I don't think we have one. Alright, so I'm going to get rested up. And guys, we're going to go fight the Ender Dragon. Oh yeah, and get some Instone. I hope you guys are ready for that. So, we're back here at the Dragon's Lair. Oh man. Off we go into the end. It is going to be really dark, guys. The end is probably just as like the Nether. It is very scary. It is a very scary place. Oh man. Okay. Um, so in our offhand, we do have the ability to put our uh, our glider. So that is a very handy when it comes to uh, doing some of this, but we're going to have to try our best to kill some of these things. There's no way we're going to be able to get the, the dragon this way. Oh, man. So, yeah, gliding and shooting these are going to be our best option. Oh, yeah. I don't know how well we're going to do with this, but I'll try. Oh, boy. We've already made them mad. Got that one. 
Oh man, we're gonna have to pillar up as well. It's gonna be stuff we're gonna definitely have to do. It's super dark and super scary here. I'll show you where we have to, like, literally not look at the dragon at all. Got that one. Oh yeah, he's he's definitely getting mad. Can we get it? Oh, I feel like we made Enderman mad. I'm not even looking at them. Too or too low. Wow, we accidentally hit the dragon, to be honest. We're a little too low. Got it. These are gonna be the, the hard ones, the ones that we have to pillar up to. Can we get it? We can try this as well. Oh, we're we're way too low. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, he's hitting us. Let's fly here. We may be able to get up on top of these things by using our glider efficiently. Oh yeah. Whew. Okay. Getting to these are going to be difficult. Yeah, cuz cuz yeah, we've got to we've got to get out of here. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh no. Yep, that was a bad idea. We lost it all. Oh no. We need to have our glider active. Oh, I think we I think if we go back, I think we can get our stuff and we can be okay. But we are gonna need to go back. I'll see you guys when we get back. Okay, so we are back. Let's get all of our stuff. Oh man, we are gonna need to get things organized now. Now that we have this, we don't need it. Um, what else are we missing here? Uh, we need our glider in this slot. We need our armor on. Oh, man. We need our stuff moved over a little bit. Let's do a potion of invisibility and, and strength. Oh, man. I forgot it takes our armor off whenever we do that. Um, okay, that gives us some time, though. It gives us a little bit of time while we have that invisibility effect to kind of get our get our things together. Because right now our our stuff is just all out of whack. Um Okay. So our bow, our food. Alright, let's get let's see if we can't clear out some more of these. Whew. Okay, while we have invisibility, I still I don't think the dragon can see us or knows that we exist right now. There we go. We took that out. All we're missing is those. So we have like one more to do. And these all need to be moved. So that way we can access this. Can we actually shoot an arrow? In that little hole there? I don't think so. I think we're gonna have to pillar. And our armor's about to go away. Our invisibility is. Oh no. We do we do have our glider though. So this time we won't actually fall. <laughs> we won't fall. We will take some damage from the explosion here. But we're not gonna we're not gonna fall. Okay, so yeah, we took we took a hit. We took a hit. Yeah, we took a hit. Let's get out of here. All right, I see. Let's eat. All right, all right. Yep. That's not good. The dragon's really after us at this point. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Endermen are not happy with us either because we uh, they can't actually see us now. Okay. But I think we're good for the dragon. Uh, you know, because I think... I think all of the, the, the parts are gone. I think everything is done now. 
glider wise. Right? All of these are gone. So now we can actively hurt him. Okay. So yeah, he is he is definitely after me. This is a real dragon fight here. All right, he's not gonna. Oh, 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 no, no, we gotta get out of that stuff. Bad, bad, bad. Gotta get out of there. All right, does he have another thing that is protecting him? He does. We did miss one. So he is being healed. Okay. That I need to make sure. Let's get over to the, the other pillar that we have over here. We're going to be able to use to our advantage. Oh yeah, he's got two of them left. Oh yeah. Get out of here, dragon. Alright, now he's gonna actually take damage. Oh, no. Now we got an Enderman after us. Nope, nope, nope. I don't know, understand why, why we're getting hurt, but... Cool, guys. All right. <laughs> so back we go. All right, so we are back. Now I did forget that I do have the ability here to do these instant, instant potions. Oh man. I forgot about those. I really just need to kind of flock around, wait for, wait for him to sort of uh, spawn here on the pedestal. Is he there right now? Alright, let's head over here. Oh no, the Enderman is ridiculous. Oh no, 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 no. I think we're honestly the better off just shooting him. With arrows, I mean, at this point. How are we going to attack him? We don't need that on us. Did he f literally just fly back? I will take this advantage. Okay. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, man. This is honestly the most da the, the, literally the worst dragon fight I have ever had. I've had some pretty bad ones. We just need to just slowly fly around doing our thing until we hear him land. Okay. All right, he is not having this. He is not having this right now. Come on, land, please. There he goes. We'll get this. 
Okay. So that means jet up. Oh, man. Eat some of our mystery meat. Wait for him to land again. That's all we can do. I don't know if we're safer on the ground. Where's he at? There's he at. Let's keep an eye on him. Yep, there he goes. Alright. Good, good, good. We've almost got him beat. Almost. I don't know if he'll I don't know if he'll let us let us win this time. I don't know. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. We have one more time. One more go. Okay. Here's our chance. Here's our chance. Guys, we're about to beat him. I think an arrow. An arrow. Like straight up an arrow would literally kill him. We killed him! Ha <laughs> ha! The dragon is dead, guys! Whoo! Let's get all this experience! Come on! Oh, let it rain! Oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna take all that experience. Oh, yes. So much good stuff. We have a dragon egg there. I don't think I have anything that will help us with the drag like collecting the dragon egg. Whew. Okay, so that was a deal. There's our portal. So we'll be sure to use that next episode as we go look for the elytra. Oh man. But what we can actually do now. I can mine out some of this. Because we actually need in stone. <laughs> We're getting so so close to Soul Forge Steel. So close. And then we will be incredibly OP at that point. Oh, now we have access to the end, which means we can make Enderman farms, which I mean, which are really good experience farms. Whew, man, that's awesome. Incredibly awesome. We, we definitely got some cool stuff going on. Well, well, guys. <laughs> oh, man. I, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did... Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm just kidding. We beat the game. Oh, yeah. Let's go back to spawn. But yeah, like I said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let's go.